Now, you've talked uh, and written about the leader of the free world this week. Uh, you said Joe Biden is not all right, and you note that the Democrats seem to be outdoing each other in incapacity. And we've got another example, I think this was yesterday, of Joe Biden showing he's not all right. Uh, he mixed up Iraq and Russia. It's hard to tell, but he's, he's clearly losing the war in Iraq. He's losing the war at home. And he has uh, become a bit of a fly around the world. Uh, and it's not just NATO. It's not just the European Union. It's Japan. It's, it's uh, you know, it's 48. There he was talking um, a, about a, Vladimir Putin losing the war in Iraq. Um, but the examples of cognitive decline, Douglas, are abundant. We play them every single yeah. week. We're never short of content. No, I know. It's, it's, you know, it's getting quite sad, actually, because the Democrats' desire to hang on to office is something we've discussed before. And it is extraordinary. I mean, they wheeled in a very distinguished senator, Dianne Feinstein, who's now 90. They literally wheelchaired her in uh, to the Senate yeah, yeah. recently. Uh, and, uh, and she seems to think she's been in the Senate when she hasn't been in recent weeks. It's, it's really rather sad. And then they put up uh, uh, um, John Fetterman as a, as, a, as a senator last year, despite the fact that he'd suffered a catastrophic stroke poor man and his wife had to give his acceptance mm. speech for him he was speaking the other the other day and uh, spoke beside joe biden and just seemed to have described joe biden as a collapsed bridge which is quite interesting um and um and um and um, even biden looked a bit confused by that but then this is biden who remember last year you mentioned supreme court uh, katanji brown jackson uh, uh, remember when he announced her nomination uh, uh, her appointment last year and he said uh, america is a country you can sum up in a single word and i think i've got it right that the word he then said it's certainly new to the English language, indeed to any language, and it went something like, <laughs> I am fatum fatum bum bum Himalaya. Uh, uh, even, even Kamala Harris <laughs> looked kind of uh, bemused about this. Um, it, it is very sad. Oh. Uh, but the, 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 the part, you know, it's always been an international joke that right-wing Americans, uh, uh, leaders, are no good at speaking, and it's pretty unfair, actually. People like Reagan was a terrific communicator. Um, but, but it's actually the Democrats that have put Putting up people to speak to the American people who can't speak to them. No, and uh, with Biden, they're trying to use the excuse, well, he's got a stutter, but you know what? I've seen his speeches from 30 years ago, 20 years ago. There was no stutter. This is cognitive decline. Yeah. It is not yeah. a stuttering issue. Now, let's move on to Gen Z and their embrace of radical gender theory. We've got data now showing 51% of this group say there are more than two genders. And uh, I think this has all sorts of implications, Douglas. You've written this week about uh, so-called gender-affirming care for children. And when you become to, you know, accept that there's 150-plus genders, that we all have to declare our pronouns, then you become comfortable with these irreversible treatments mm -hmm. being inflicted on confused young children. Yes, I mean, there's, there's a term there, isn't it, Rita? Gender-affirming care. Sounds so nice. Mm. You wouldn't notice if you if, if 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 you didn't bother to look into it that it involves, for instance, flaying the leg or the arm of a a young woman, giving her ir ir irreversible scarring, and then trying to create a phallus. I, I mean, it, that's gender affirming care. Apparently, it sounds so lovely until you look at the facts. Uh, I'm I'm confused. I'm yeah, a useless very phallus. Yes, absolutely. I, I'm, you know, I, 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 I'm very worried that, that people have just been indoctrinated into this stupidity. You know, there are, are only two sexes. There are lots of different expressions of sexuality people can have, but they don't change biological reality. And my worry about this has always been the same, which is effectively not... I don't like lies. I don't like untruths being mm. pushed into the public square because I know that what comes next will be another lie and a bigger lie, and you'll be asked to believe something even more ridiculous next week than you were this. That's why this is important. Mm. It's not just a sort of about a craze or a fad. It's about people who have been made highly susceptible to totally provably wrong things. 
Absolutely, and that's precisely what Dr. Jordan Peterson said too about this data. He said, if you swallow the biggest possible lie, then you're prepared to swallow all the other lies that follow. Absolutely. And uh, that's uh, one of the enormous worries here. And finally, uh, more madness from your home city of New York, where there is a fatwa against coal and wood-fired pizza being declared. Uh, apparently, this is going to save the environment. It's upset a few people. Here's one angry New Yorker who's throwing pizza slices at City Hall. Give us pizza or give us death. New York City is nothing without pizza. Douglas, what is going on in your adopted home city? Well, um, this is this is the latest in a development of ones. There was, there was an attempt. Uh, the Democrats announced last year that, that people's gas stoves uh, would be removed from them, and now now people's uh, uh, coal wood fired pizzas are meant to be wrestled from our cold dead hands. Uh, uh, I, I think it's a mad row to pick with New Yorkers who who are not going to give up their pizza <laughs> easily. Uh, but it's another example of the crazy way in which a certain type of Democrat left winger decides that, 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 you know, all the difference in the climate change issue will be decided by whether or not New Yorkers have uh, wood-fired pizzas for dinner. And I'm fairly sure that, that the main polluter in the world remains uh, countries like China and India. And, and they really don't care much about a few New Yorker Manhattanite pizzas. I don't think it's going to be the tipping point in the whole global warming thing. <laughs> I just can't believe you can't get a good slice in New York shortly. I mean, you need a wood-fired pizza oven to get the perfect yep. slice. And uh, just another reason to avoid New York these days. Douglas Murray, thank oh. you for joining me.